much. Well, Hartford police are still investigating a shooting that took place yesterday evening near Bedford Street, leaving one person dead and three others injured. That makes it the 10th homicide of 2022. Our Raquel Harrington shares how city and state advocates are working to combat the violence. Raquel. Yeah, it's crazy to think 10 homicides just four months into the year, already doubling the amount this time last year. Now, gun control advocacy organizations that I caught up with say this should be a wake-up call that gun violence is a public health crisis. That gun violence is a public health epidemic for the last 10, 15 years. But it seems like you be talking on deaf ears. Reverend Henry Brown has been a victim of gun violence and has dedicated more than a decade to ending it and says enough is enough. It's frustrating as heck because you know that somebody lost their life or somebody been crippled by a bullet. With the news of Hartford having its 10th homicide already this year. Multiple uh, rounds in the roadway, um, different calibers, so multiple shooters, multiple victims, unfortunately. It's sparking concern in the community. If it's 10 already, what's going to happen in the next few months? President of Mothers United Against Violence, Henrietta Beckman, says she lost her son to gun violence in 2002. It's time for us to put down these guns, young people. We love you, you are valued, and your life matters. So stop the violence. Connecticut Against Gun Violence says the gun violence crisis disproportionately affects communities of color. You see, 10% of the state is black, yet they make up 56% of the gun homicides in Connecticut. We can't really afford to wait until the next shooting happens before we do anything. Jeremy Stein says the time for change is now. We also believe that the state needs to collect data on gun violence, as well as collaborate with researchers um, and to make policy recommendations that will decrease um, the effects of gun violence uh, in our community. Reverend Brown suggests community policing, stronger gun laws and community involvement. But until change happens, he stresses this violence isn't a reflection of Hartford. Decent people live in Hartford and they need help from the outside for people to come in. That's why I'm encouraging and implored and pleading Let's make these gun laws. In last night's shooting, the person who died was identified as 33-year-old Jermaine Davis, and the shooting is still under investigation. Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.